Hello guys this video is about introduction and basic description of roboguru software as we open the roboguru software we can see this kind of view this is the programming panel where we write our program this is the main menu where we have lot of options from which we can add into this programming panel this as the simulator panel where we can see the simulation happening there are other options as 2d 3d zoom in zoom out and a hand pan this is for running this is for the speed this is the different kinds of environments and there are different levels and this is to select the robot now let us see what are all the functions and what are all present in the main menu the file has similar options like all other softwares which are new to open a new programming page an open button which helps in selecting the previous programs or opening the previous programs save and save as print to print the program quit to quit the software edit to make any changes of this programming panel view has zoom in to zoom into the programming panel zoom out and auto fit other than this we even have find and replace then the program is very lengthy and if we have to find any keyword we can find with the help of this find and we can replace that word with the help of this replace the robot option has configure where we can configure motors sensors and this we will see in the later video burn is to burn the program to the robo brain execute is to execute the program windows has other three options as settings io pane and custom arena with the help of custom arena we can create our own environment let us use this custom arena in other video io pane gives two leds one lcd and four switches which are already present on the robo brain and settings is about the port id and the baud rate this port id is about where to which port the robot is connected to the computer and baud rate is about the transfer of bits at which speed bits are transferred let us go into detail in other video the program scripts is about to the destination folder where the program is saved we can change this by opening now close this the other option is help where we can know about the software and the usage with the help of help option other than this there is a variable which shows dim where we can introduce a variable into the programming the movement of the robot using a move menu which has all the basic movements as forward backward left right hard left hard right and encoded movement continuous movement etc the motors basically there are four motors which move and clockwise counter clockwise encoded motion of clockwise direction encoded motion in counter clockwise direction and stop command in c we can find the sensors which are configured the motors and sensors need to be configured let us see about their configuration and how to configure them in upcoming video and the basic conditions which we observe in our programming as if else 
and else if these are the basic conditions to check any kind of condition the loops as repeat while and for and breaking these loops with the help of break let us see their usage in the upcoming video and io commands that is input and output commands as analog commands buzzer commands which are buzzer on and off delay to produce any kind of delay in programming led commands which are led on and off lcd commands where we can print a message character variable or clear the lcd and switch commands to make the switches on and off the procedures is about how to create a function and how to return and the operators which include and or and not the stop control which uses a stop command we can select all of this into this programming panel and create our program let us see how to create a basic program go to file and select a new this is already a new programming panel page now let us write a basic program which is if a switch 1 turns on then the led 1 has to turn on and the lcd has to print hi as this has to occur in a continuous format let us place a repeat loop now there's a condition if if switch 1 turns on then led 1 has to turn on lcd has to print a message hi now save this using some name and see its simulation in iopen this is a simulator which opens up to see the simulation when we run this code we can find the errors when there are any errors in this program we can notice errors and warnings in this area here the error says hi is undeclared this is because we didn't write the message in double quotes always remember that the message that we wish to print has to be in double quotes now save it using control s and run this code when we run this code we observe that there are no errors now when we press the switch on we can find that led is turned on and the message hi is being printed continuously now close this program or stop this program using this now let us know about the other basic functionalities of robo group programming in upcoming videos thank you for watching